It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Pete Stanton, who is the head football coach for the Dickinson State Blue Hawks. And the magic number was one this week, coach. And you all took care of business. The Blue Hawks didn't need anyone else. You got that number one done, defeating Jamestown 35 to 30 to get the victory and take the conference title. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along, but tell us a little bit about the win on Saturday. Big victory for the program. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good win for us. You know, we knew that uh, going into the game, uh, we we could clinch the the conference championship, which was uh, early. And and uh, you know, the couple of the other teams have had close games against each other and split. So uh, we knew we uh, had that opportunity. You know, our guys were able to get that done. Jamestown played very well. Uh, you know, they played offensively the best game they've played all year. We uh, we played very well offensively. Uh, we just had some blunders on defense. We didn't play nearly as well as what we our expectations are on on defense. And obviously, we have to get that cleaned up because it wasn't a very good defensive performance at all for our team. That's kind of our standard, and we didn't play well there. But offensively, we really got the job done, and you know, never trailed in the game. So we, we felt you know pretty good about that. But uh, you know, credit Jamestown, they they played very well against us the second time around. Well, spoiler alert to anyone who's watching, of course, with the conference championship, that means an automatic bid, and Dickinson State is now the first team to officially be a part of the 2024 playoff field for the NAI Football Championship Series. Coach, it's the 10th consecutive conference title, which obviously then, along with it, 10th consecutive playoff appearance. Tell us a little bit about what that means for you and for the program as well. You made it into double digits now in playoffs. Yeah, it's it's definitely a really nice thing for for our program to to accomplish that. You know, I think people don't understand that that it's hard. You know, it's hard to do. Winning is hard to do, and and we talk to our players about that. And the other thing we really stress with our players is. It, it's about this team. It's about the 2024 team. We don't really necessarily talk about last year or the year before. We just talk about you have to, you know, do do accomplish things at, at this year with this year's team. And, and this year's team was able to, to get that done. And that's really what we've been we've been focusing on, you know, one week at a time. And our guys have really done a good job uh, getting getting there. And I want to clarify, too, not just the 10th playoff appearance overall. That's a 10 consecutive playoff appearances, too. So uh, that's a big deal. The streak now is in double figures, and uh, it doesn't get any easier from here, though, Coach. But in, in talking about the, the game on Saturday, Will Madler, your quarterback, led the team well. You, you talked about the fact that you were effective on offense. He was 16 for 29 passing, 199 passing yards, and two passing touchdowns. He also had five carries for 14 yards and a rushing touchdown as well. Madler on the season now has accounted for 23 touchdowns, 19 through the air, and four on the ground. It was a good game on Saturday, but it's been a pretty good year for him. He's he's had a great year, you know. He was a first team All Conference guy last year, and he's he's our leader out there. And you know, he he sets the example too with the way that he prepares. You know, not only on the field, but he's in the film room and and meeting with Coach McCarville multiple times a day. You know, our offensive coordinator, you know, going through situations and his leadership uh, ability is is tremendous. And then the way he performs on the field and he, he does a great job of taking care of the ball. And and he had another good game, as you said. I mean, not only finding the receivers and, and doing a good job there, but getting guys. You know, the little things that people don't understand too, like getting guys in the right formation or making sure they're motioning correct or seeing in-game adjustments. And then, and then as you said, then to be able to also get in the run game and, and, and score a rushing touchdown as well. He, uh, he does it all for us, and he's a great leader and 4.0 student and just does a lot of really nice things for our program. Wow. I like, like the sound of that 4.0, too, and that's, that's always a good sign when you have players like that. We're visiting now with Pete Stanton, head football coach for the Dickinson State Blue Hawks, here on Midwest Sportsnet on the Summit, and I encourage you, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. We really appreciate that. I can't tell you what it does for us according to the YouTube algorithm, but we like it. We think it helps a lot, so that's fun. So I encourage you to be a part of the, of the channel. Coach, it's the swan song for the North Star this year, and we've talked about that on the channel a number of times. Getting to visit with you about that now as the season is winding down, has the season felt any different knowing that this is the last year with the makeup as it is before you head a different direction next season? Not, not too bad. You know, it's, we are, our players understand that. And obviously we wanted to finish, you know, well, and we were able to win the conference championship. Of course, we still got two games to, to go. And obviously we want to finish those well, but you know, uh, 
it's it's good to get that rivalry with Jamestown back uh, one last time and to be able to play them a couple more times, you know, you know before they transition. Um, but you know, I think our guys have just really been focused on you know week week to week type of things, and we really haven't talked as much about that. I do know you know down the road it uh, it's tough to play a team a second time, so I think you know with that opportunity we're going to have the frontier of not having three or four multiple uh, you know games against the same team was will definitely be a, a good thing down the road uh you know they think it's like i said it's hard we play jamestown the first time it's 42 7 and then and come back to play him play him again it's 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 that part of it's tougher so i think that part of it will be nice to be able to move on from that's you know i think it's gonna be good for teams from from both the conferences because the frontier conference has dealt with that in recent years too. And, and yeah, just playing the same team twice in one season, there's so, so many challenges I'm sure to that, but this year though, seven and one overall and no losses to NAI teams to this point in the season, your one loss coming to a division three program at this point of the year, since you know that you are going to be playing into late November uh, in, in the playoffs, does it, change how you prepare for the final two games of the season? I mean, are there focuses on different things to be able to say, hey, listen, we, we want to get this right, but we also want to get this right knowing that uh, we might see this later on in November, possibly December? Yeah, some of the things we've talked about really uh, obviously want to do is take care of our players health-wise, you know, so they're – you know, there there's some guys that are that are really close, which I think we have a couple of guys that may or may not. You know, we uh, we may hold a few guys out to to keep them healthy for the stretch run. But at the same time, uh, you know, we're we're talking to our players about hey, our goals. You always play meaningful games in November, and the game against Valley City was is a very meaningful game because it you know it helps us uh, get better. They always play well against us, and they're they're a good team, and also. You know, we have to, you know, we have, have an opportunity in the playoff to help our seeding and, and things like that. And I think that's important to, as a team to, to be able to do that. So we, we definitely want to play at a, at a high level and, and, uh, and be able to do that the next couple of weeks. And at the same time, have that balance of uh, keeping our, our key guys healthy at the same time. You mentioned Valley City State, and and definitely the season is not over. The regular season is not over by any stretch. You're on the road next week taking on Valley City State, second time this season, and then you do the same thing in your season finale as you host Dakota State. Again, another tough program facing and seeing them for the second time this year. Uh, preview a little bit for us closing out the, the regular season for 2024. Yeah, Valley City, it's always a good battle with them. We had a 19-6 to six, uh, game with them early in the season. We're hoping the, the wind doesn't blow 50 miles an hour like it did the first time uh, we played them. But, uh, yeah, it's always a good game with with them. They're they're very well coached and and, and do a good job. And, you know, we got to go on the road there. And then Dakota State has made good improvements this year as well. I believe when we you know the first time we played them this year, they were they were 4-1. and one. And I know they lost their quarterback early in the year, and and they they they're a formidable opponent as well. So that that's just really our thing is, we know that both those teams are are really going to play with great effort, and and they're they're in the same boat as us. They want to finish the November well, and so our guys know that, and and I uh, say we're 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 looking forward to the to the challenge. Coach Pete Stanton, the Dickinson State Blue Hawks are playoff bound in 2024, the 10th consecutive conference title to close out the North Star run and also the 10th consecutive playoff appearance. So we know, Coach, we'll be talking about you beyond just the final two weeks of the season. But, of course, we're going to follow the Blue Hawks through the final two weeks of the season as well. Congratulations on the win on Saturday and another conference title and, and success to you all. Thank you for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Yeah, thank you, and thanks uh, for, for having, having me on and for all you do. Appreciate it. <laughs>